Hello everyone, Canberra Run here, and welcome back to another Magic the Gathering Arena video, at last. Because now, the Adventures in the Forgotten Realms Dungeons & Dragons set, or AFR D&D, set has finally been released. And what I thought I'd do first, as I stated in my last video, was I want to cover Zariel, Archduke of Avernus, and all the sacrifice shenanigans you can get up to. Now, I made a lot of compromise in this video because I wanted to get as many of the D&D &D cards in the video as possible. So I forgo stuff like Archfiend's Vessel, Claim the Firstborn, um, cards like, um, like Woe Strider and stuff like that. Because I wanted to, you know, an Image Stone Predator. Because I wanted to kind of make a very quick deck which would use around Zario being able to continually put out things to sacrifice. So we have Five Blade Charger, Warlock Class, which I thought was fun because it's whenever a creature died, each opponent loses one life. So if you're continually killing creatures, um, you can continually strip your opponent of life. Village Rites, Ray of Enfeeblement, just to be able to uh, sap my opponent's strength, especially white creatures. Um, Feign Death is also quite a fun one because you can use it on something like Fireblade Charger. It will die and then do damage and then come back as a 2-2. Um, we've got Grim Wanderer so that when he, whenever a creature dies, it's a 5-3 it's for 2 mana, but you can only cast it if a creature died this turn. And it has Flash so you can cast it at the end of your opponent's turn. Sephalco Ghoul, so you can sacrifice another creature to make it a 4-3. Um, same with Slaughter Priest and Mogus, obviously gets plus 2 for sacrifice. And then Die Fleet Warmonger as well gets plus 2, plus 2 if you sacrifice another creature. So you've got Fire Prophecy and... Uh, God, where is it? Eliminate for removal. Village Rites for obvious reasons. And then, final off, Zariel Archduke of Avernus. So the plus 1 makes creatures faster and stronger. Um... For zero cost mana, you can create a 1 1 red devil creature token. And this is the one we're going to be using the most. So you create a devil creature token. So when it dies, it deals 1 damage. It will give a sacrifice fodder alongside Fireblade Charger. And for its ultimate, you will get an emblem which gives you a, a second combat phase, which will be quite interesting. So if I can do that with, say, Die Fleet Warmonger, I can make Die Fleet Warmonger even stronger until the end of the turn and go in for a second attack. So you'll see me just in casual because it's um, it's a new set and I want to try out what people are doing with it. But this is going to be the first of the D&D decks. So I've got quite a few ideas which we'll talk about at the end of the video. I am basically back. Um, I've spent a lot of time trying to get a real job, uh, get a full -time, another full-time job. A lot of shit happened in the real world. It's all done now. And also I got caught up watching football. I am a massive, obviously I'm an Englishman and we're getting to the final, whether people like it or not. But never mind about that. Anyway, let's get on with the games. Okay, this hand is fine. We can build up into Die Fleet Warmonger. We will keep this hand. So if we go... Yeah. That's fine. Fire Blade. We can use Fire Prophecy or Warlock Class, whatever comes next. Um... Okay, this could be interesting. Hidden. It's perfect, we just need another land. The only problem is if they've got removal here, then I could have a problem. So, I'm going to hold off playing Zariel if I do get the land, because I want to use some other stuff. Right, okay. So... Play down the Warlock class. I'm assuming they're going to use this uh, like an extra land to play something massive. But I can deal with that. Because I've got Ray of Enfeeblement. I do need another black mana. <sighs> For God's sake. And I... See, this is my little problem. So I can't flash in Grim Wanderer now. So 
reinforcements will drive them back. So do the damage slowly. But you see, they're waiting for another land. So. Okay. Rain hellfire on them. Promise if he's just going to hold it up. There we go. And you see how this is supposed to work now. So, having a lot of fun here. But that, yeah, Grim Wanderer isn't the last year, damn it. Yeah, this is also a sacrifice deck, but complete load of balls, basically. And then village rights. Yeah, yeah, this is fucking stupid, if I'm being honest. Is is the way is the way it's the way it is. Yeah, this is like the bullshit version of sacrifice decks. Um so we'll upgrade this level two. So I can delete anything he plays, so... Okay, he might actually... I'm just gonna throw it, say this is throw this out there. This dude to this right is gonna mill himself before he can do anything. There's gonna be one of those bullshit like instant uh instant wins cards. Yeah. I've seen stuff like that before. He's trying to get a twenty like a thing that does twenty twenty and use fling. I've seen I've seen shit like this before. There we go. And good game. So you see it's supposed to, to work, work. I know they're trying to use Storm Herald to give it like plus 20, plus 20, and then give it fling. I know how this shit works. Um, but you see how we were eventually able to get the win by just being able to like destroy our opponent's creatures at the same time being able to just build up damage and build up damage. But we'll just move on to the next game. Okay, so that was quite fun. Yeah, this hand is fine. So we have, uh, yeah. So we're on the draw, but we can play Calcast. We've got Fireblade Charger. We've got Eliminate for dealing with anything. Raven Feebleman. We've got all that good shit. So go to here. Go to Fireblade Charger. Don't have removal, please. 
That'd be really annoying. Um, and we got Die Fleet Warmonger. And we got Grim Wander as well. So we can hold up Die Fleet Warmonger until he attacks and then do shit, basically. <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of doing it. Let Die Fleet Warmonger and then get Grim Wander on the field. I believe at that point we'll have Zariel as well. Oh, so this is an Izzard deck, I'm guessing. Because I see red and blue. Um, I wish I can guess shit, but whatever. Uh, now, will this be removed the minute it hits the field? Or will it be countered? You never know. Yeah, it probably won't survive long enough. So we decline that because he can't really fight, so. So I need another black mana, really, so I can play, like, Eliminate and then Grim Wanderer. that. There we go. And hit. So I just need a um, Zariel, which would be nice. They do only have three copies. If this was another black manor, if they white board here, I can just play Grim Wanderer. Um, another Grim Wanderer and hit them for five. Have a look at some of the cards they've... Huh. Okay, that's interesting. See, there we go. So we get in there. Seems to be a lot of um, draw discard decks. I don't know where this is coming from. This is like the second one I faced. Yeah, this is fucking ridiculous. Ah, uh, boy, somebody, somebody's found out a gimp using Storm Herald. Great. There we go. Fantastic. Yeah, and there we go. Um, so yeah, this is really good at dealing whatever Storm Herald shit somebody's come up with. I'm going to have to look into that. Um, I will just quickly do some Googling and I will be right back. Um, okay, so yeah. Otherwise, after that, we'll move straight on to the next game. Okay, this, yeah, this hand is good. Good, so we're going to start off with like set pathway, play a warlock cost. Oh, oh, I like this. I like this. Um, this is cool. Can I, um, can I wake the, yes, I can wake the dragon up. Come on, breathe fire. Poke your tail. Close it up. Poke him in the eye. No, he's not going to breathe fire all over the thing. That would have been cool, but whatever. That's that's pretty awesome, actually. Hey, venerable knights. Eliminate. And then do that.
Okay. Let's get the die fleets. So we've at least got a blocker here. I basically need to kill the dog first. I've said that one's a dog, so I'll actually kill the dogs first. Um, yeah, so we're kind of just waiting on him to make his move. Problem is I'm kind of not got a card advantage. I've had to burn up a lot of cards to just deal with this shit. Um, oh, bollocks. Oh, double bollocks. And I'm only drawing land. Uh, right, let's see what we can do. I could do that, but I think I'm not gonna. Um, my best guess is that they'll block the two things. I really need a Vernus here. Uh, Zariel. So. Or I need more removal. That'd be useful. Yeah, I think I might be dead here just because of the amount of, like, shit I faced. My devotion to victory is forged in hell, fire. Get in formation! Uh, did you not? Bruh. Oh, I think I'd won it. Yeah, I'd won anyway. <coughs> Either that, we, he really can't do math. Uh, that was weird. I think I should have lost that. But I don't think they realized how much damage I could actually do. So, yeah. W whatever. Anyway, uh, we'll just move on to the next game. That was a very surprising victory. This hand is... I was about to say this hand is fine, but it's kind of not. There's no red mana at all. Uh, I have to live with that, and I'll just have to get rid of Village Rice, and hope I draw a... Um, if I get rid of the Moses, hope I draw a Swamp. Um, I did spend, like, five minutes Googling. I can't find anything about... Um, yeah, I, I couldn't find anything about a... Um, uh, Storm Herald combo. I faced two of them in a row now, so... You know. So, if we don't draw black, we're a little bit shafted. But 
Especially if this is going to be Golgari Death Touch. I can take but a blip of damage here. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. That's fine. Take out your creature. I need I do need to draw some black mana, so otherwise I'm a bit, you know, like I said, I'm dead. There we go, that, that works. So, yeah. Let's pass turn here. What about feign death first? So you're holding on for something? I don't know. So unless they've got a buff spell that can make Lana while Visionary stronger, I don't think there's... Yeah. I thought they might do that. So, oh boy. Yeah, there's not a lot I can actually... I don't think there's a lot I can actually do here. Because I... I'm just getting kind of like battered by Mono Green Stomp. I can I can village rights the um I need to be able to get Grim Wanderer on the field and then use Feign Death on Grim Wanderer.
Ooh, that's not helpful. Uh, yeah, just drawing three lands in a row is basically no. I, I can't deal with this. That's unfortunate. We're just going to have to scoop there. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I needed to get a good draw, and getting three lands doesn't help, so we'll just move on to the next game. Okay, so... Yeah, this is fine. Play Warlock class first. Then we'll slaughter these Mogis. We've got land, and we just need to build up to Zariel, Archduke of Avernus. Get rid of that bloody thing. Um, get rid of Raven Feebleman as well while we're at it. Take the hit. Right. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to leave it. I'm assuming they didn't get the cards they need. I'm going to be honest with you. We'll use this as last game as a little bit of an out as a pre outro. I've tried like eight times to record a fifth game and it has just been a complete shit show. So well, I'm just going to leave it here. I'm just going to go straight to the outro and we'll call this as a failed game five. Okay, I feel that could have gone better. I think there was some high points to the deck, but I think I might try again with another version which has more rare cards. I think cards like Woe Strider and Archfiend's Vessel will be necessary. I think Call of the Death Dweller was also not um, kind of an issue. I do want to know whether you can get Grim Wanderer back with Call of the Death Dweller. We'll have to find that one out. Um, I think Zariel also... It's quite important that you get Zariel quite early on. As it can be really, really helpful with producing the Devil Tokens and giving creatures like Control Plus One and get Haste. Um, but it does work in a way. So Five Blade Charger can be quite great. Stuff like Feign Death, Raven Feeblemont. I think maybe I should have switched out for something like Heartless Act. Um, Warlock class can be quite fun because you, you can keep it where a creature dies every turn. Your opponent is losing an extra one life. Sephalchor Ghoul didn't do as well as I thought it would do. Because it's quite... Every time I got him out, he seemed to be isolated. Um, but I think it might be... It's quite a fun little thing on a budget, but I don't think it would do that great. Um, I think there are a lot of things I want to do for this set, like Delina Wild Mage. Um, looks like a really, really fun card to use. Um, is it Treasures? Now there's a couple of good red treasure cards. I mean, you can do Rakdos Treasure as well, but let's try with the traditional Is it Treasure, especially because I do now. I've got full set of Galazeth Prismari now. Um, I think also with Boris equipment, it might be quite fun with some of the new equipment that's in the D&D um, uh, set. But it looks quite fun. Um, so anyway, stay tuned for all of that. I am sort of like back now. I've got quite a few video ideas. Super honesty with the, one of the breaks was that I actually ran out of ideas for Prismari, uh, for Strixhaven decks. And then a couple of real world things came along. And like I said, I've been watching a lot of the Euro 2020. Uh, England are in the final. No, I don't care if there was an anti-English sentiment because of a couple of things that have happened. Um, it's coming home, whether you like it or not. <laughs> but anyway, if you've enjoyed this, this video, feel free to leave a like. If you want to see more, you can always subscribe. I've been Cambad Run, and thank you for watching. Oh, and the OBS recording software has completely stopped, and I can't just press F2 to record anymore. But anyway, thanks for watching.